The next topic we'll cover in Art 1280 is that of vector art made from paths and shapes. Vector art is usually considered to be something one would create in Adobe Illustrator, but there are many ways in which it can be used in Photoshop. We always like to say use each program for what it's best at, and while Photoshop is not the best resource for creating and manipulating vector art, it can be quite helpful when used properly. For example, if I was trying to create complex vector art, logo, or illustration, I'd definitely want to jump over to Illustrator. But if I wanted to add some vector art inside a pixel-based photograph or produce buttons for a website, Photoshop is a great resource. The learning objectives for this lecture include being able to create basic shapes using shape tools, having the ability to adjust and manipulate shapes after they have been created, using the freeform pen and pen tools to create custom vector art, activating paths as selections, masks, and shapes, and understanding the importance of vector art and its relationship to file size. Before we get started learning the steps necessary to create, manipulate, and use vector art in Photoshop, it is important to know what vector art is. So far this semester, we've focused on raster art or images made from pixels. This lesson will talk about vector art made from shapes and paths. As you can see in the examples below, most often vector art is thought of as line art using solid tones, but it doesn't have to be just that. Gradients and textures can be added to create visual interest. Vector art can also be used to create paths without any formatting that are used for other Photoshop tasks like saving selections or creating vector masks. And again, so far this semester we focus primarily on creating and editing raster-based images. Now that we're moving on to vector art imagery, it is important for us to know the difference between the two as the process for creating and editing vector art is distinctly different from that of images with pixels. Resolution is defined as the number of pixels per square inch in an image. Generally speaking, the higher the resolution, the higher the image quality. However, not all images have pixels. Vector art is comprised of anchor points and directional lines constructed using mathematical formulas instead of pixels to generate an image. Vector art imagery is not made from pixels, so it does not have a resolution making it resolution independent. That means the resolution of a vector art image is determined by the output settings. This can be printing or exporting to a pixel-based file format for example, when a vector art image is saved as a Photoshop file, an Illustrator file, or an EPS or an SVG file, the vector art is saved as is. But if a vector art file is saved as a JPEG or a GIF file, the vector art is converted to pixels at the size and resolution determined at the time of exporting. Vector art images made from mathematical formulas using anchor points and directional lines have many benefits. For example, they can be, have very small file sizes compared to pixel-based images. They can be scaled up and down as big and as small as is desired without any image quality loss. They can be used to create shapes but also to create paths, masks, and selections within Photoshop. Vector art works really well with GIF and EPS file formats. They work well with GIFs because GIFs are great for solid color web images. If tonal values like gradients are added to vector art, JPEG, and PNG files uh, would be more appropriate for web output. EPS files are print quality and work really well with all forms of vector art. Last and certainly not least, vector art is created using mathematical formulas represented by anchor points and directional lines. These anchor points and directional lines remain fully editable from now until the end of time as long as the image is not rasterized. Here are just a few examples of vector art. When compared to, to their rasterized versions, you can see more crispness and clarity. Pixel-based images are limited to the number of pixels in the image. When stretched or zoomed in on, the square pixels become prominent, making the image look blurry and pixelated. However, vector art does not lose quality as it's zoomed in on because there are no pixels. There's a mathematical formula constantly repopulating the shape at the desired size. 